Okay, seventh graders, we are moving on now to lesson nine, talking about using images. So last week we did two different uh, assignments that pertained to uh, Creative Commons and looking for um, pictures and talking about the uh, licenses and stuff like that. And now we're going to put it into use. The new code that we're going to have is right here, an IMG code. So you'll, I'll be showing you how to use that. And what I want you guys to do is you can follow along with me. I'm going to walk you through several of these circles. Or if you think you want to try it on your own, you can go for that also. So I'm going to hit continue. And the very first thing they want to do is show us how to get an image into your web page. So they've got a picture of a dog, but they want us to add a picture of a cat. So what they've done is they've already added the pictures that we're going to be using. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and do that. You'll notice here's our heading, dog versus cats. So I see that up there. Here's a smaller heading, dogs. Here's the text or the code that we're going to be using for our pictures. And so there's our picture. And then here's the um, credit that they're giving. Here's who found this, took this picture and where it was found. All right, so now here's the heading for cats. Now we, they want us to add a picture. So I'm going to hit enter. And basically what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to type in image src equals. And then once you do that, all right, I'm just going to click on the picture that I want which is a cat JPEG picture, then I'm going to, they have this returned. I think we can just hit a space and then we can just do alt equals. And then we're going to go ahead. And now what the second thing is, this is the name of the file. Dog jumping then is what the actual picture represents. So you want to put a very brief description and I'll talk more about that later. So we don't even know what this cat picture is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cat JPEG and it's the picture of a, the face of a cat it looks like. So I'm going to go back to my thing and I'm going to put cat. You can do cat face, face of a cat. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do my quotations and that. And boom, there's the cat picture. All right. You'll notice the one thing is there is no closing when we have our images. We do not have to close it with a slash mark. It's just going to be this code right there. All right. So let's go ahead and hit finish. And again, if you think you can do this on your own, by me, all means, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm going to walk you through again some of these things. All right, this time they're talking about when you use someone else's image, you should give credit to the original creator. And that's what we spent all last week talking about. And that's going to be called um, having an attribution. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the text below the image. So you'll see right here, this is the attribution for the dog picture. We don't not have anything for the cat one. So they gave us the information right up here. So I'm just going to come down and, and all we're going to do is we're going to add a paragraph. So this should be familiar. And then I'm going to put the name of the person and it looks like, and I'm going to put it exactly how they have it. Um, Alexis underscore photos. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a that and then I'm just going to put that it was said it's found at Pixabay. So I'm going to do Pixabay and I'm just going to leave this blank after that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do my closing tag for my paragraph. And you'll notice now that there's that. You also, if we wanted to, we could look at the CSS and you'll notice that. They already have this stuff set up in the paragraphs right here are going to come in as gray. So just to show you that that's there. So now we've got our pictures and we've got our attributes. We've given credit. So let's go ahead and finish. All right. So um, what basically what we have to do here is, is we have to get, if you notice, 
they've got code over here. We've got our image code, but our images aren't showing up. And what we're going to do is figure out why. Okay, now here's the other thing. Notice how it's, there's this broken image link. So our image isn't showing up, but basically our alternative text is red sky. So that's why we put that alternative text in there in case there is a problem and the actual picture doesn't show up. The person who's looking at the web page can say, oh, well, that's supposed to be a picture of a red sky. So let's figure out why it's not. None of these are working. Um, so I'm going to look over here. I see red.jpg. And if I look over here, I see red underscore sky. So remember, whatever the name is of your picture right there, that's what it has to be right here in our code. So I'm going to click. And I'm going to backspace. And I'm going to put underscore. And this pops up what I want. All right, and there's our picture. And they've already got our attribute, so we don't have to do anything with that. So go ahead and go down to, to it says green grass. Well, I see grass, but up here, notice, oh, it looks like a capital J, P, G. And down here, it's lowercase, right here. Remember, the font is case, it's case sensitive. And whatever you have over here it has to be matched there and there it is there's our green grass and then if we come down here to blue well i see blue jpeg and i'm looking blue jpeg oh we left out the e so i'm going to type in the e and i'm just going to click and there's our blue all right so we made some corrections hopefully you understand how you name it over here is what it needs to look like over here Okay, so let's go ahead and finish that. And again, if you want to move on at your own pace and get past me, that's fine. Okay, so this next one, it's going to, here's the rules for images. You should not use any of these characters. Um, you want to make sure the name is, has a specific meaning to the image. You should use a dash or an underscore rather than just a space. And you want to try to keep them as short and clear as possible if you can. So what they've done is, is they've given us some information here and we need to come down here and kind of make it correct. Um, so let's just look at this first one really quick. It says, can I bush frog? Well, I'm going to come down here. My thing that I notice right here is, is that it is, does not have a, it has space. So how we can change this is you can point to the name and you hit right click and you go to rename and that gets highlighted. I'm going to just put my cursor right there. I'm going to backspace and then I'm going to I'm just going to use an underscore and there's now an appropriate name. So now I'm going to go down to this this thing down here. Well, here it is right here. And if you notice, if I right click and hit rename, it's got all this information and we don't need that. But I'm going to keep smallest vertebrae. So I'm just going to click right here and I am going to backspace all the way to the beginning and get rid of all the other stuff and just keep smallest vertebrae. All right. So there's that. And um, uh, there was one other one. Here's fire salamander. Well, I was looking over here at fire salamander, and they've got an exclamation point. So I'm going to hit rename, and I'm going to get rid of that exclamation point. And I'll just leave it like that. Okay? So what I want you to do is you can go through the other ones. There's a couple more, and get them better. Like, get rid of these, and this one needs a name. All right? The second part, after you've given them names, it says choose your favorite image and add it to the web page. And don't forget the attribution. All right? So I'm going to come down here underneath there, and I'm going to put my favorite one in. And I'm going to go ahead and put in that um, fire salamander. And... Um, Nope. All right. So what I would recommend doing is if you can remember the code, you can type it in and then. Um, so now there all of our names are filing up are showing up. So I'm going to choose fire salamander and then I'm going to do a space and then I'm going to do alt. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, does that need an equal sign? 
And um, I'm going to put, um, if we look at the fire salamander picture, it's a black and gold. So I'm going to go to my index page and I'm going to put black and gold. All right. And then I'm going to close this up. And there it is. Okay. Now, as far as the attributions, a lot of people, like I'm not opposed to copying and pasting in some of this information. So I'm just going to copy this information right here. And I'm going to go below our image because that's where we want our attribute to be. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in my paragraph. I'm going to go ahead and copy. I think I did this wrong. Command C, and then I'm going to do Command V. And actually, if you remember in Creative Commons, they had a link for you to actually click on that, copied it. So when you're doing this, it'll be it'll also be easy to get that attribute. And then there's our attribute. So there's my favorite sound amphibian, and there's my attribute, the person who took the picture, where it came from, and then their license. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. All right, so now they want us to add our own image. So right now what I want you to do is stop listening to this. And if you don't already have an image on your computer somewhere, you may want to go and get it, an image. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I've got some on my computer. So you're going to go right here where it says add image. I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to hit upload file. And I am going to go to my desktop and I have some pictures of my dog. So I'm going to hit open. And it's already named because I had it named in my desktop. Um, so it's this is the name. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now you'll notice that this popped up right here. Okay. Now, if it didn't have a name or if I don't like this name, what I could do is, again, I could right click and I could go to rename and I could change that. But I think I'm just going to stick with that. So I'm going to go to my index and um, upload the image once you have it um, uploaded. And then it says make an image, make sure, okay, use this. And um, they want us to add this. So I'm just going to go right here. I'm going to do um, H3. I'm going to do, um, I'll just, I guess, my dog. And I'm going to do um, H3. All right. And then basically, I'm going to go image SRC. Okay equals um, Shiloh and then I'm going to do space and I'm going to do alt equals um, uh, I'll just put um, dog with pumpkin okay and then I'm going to close it and, and that's way big and we'll learn a little bit more about making these smaller, but I'm not going to worry about, and actually, I guess it wasn't with the pumpkin. I clicked on the wrong one. A dog with a flag. All right, so that's how you can change that. And actually, for this, um, I'm the person who took the picture, so I'm just going to put, and that's all I have to do. And I'll just close this. All right, uh, and so I, that's what I want you guys to do. So I'm going to go quick here because I'm just about out of time. I want you on circle number seven to do all of these activities. That's going to be more practice with images and figuring out why things don't work. And then you can go ahead and do eight also once you're done with seven. I want you to do number eight and um, read the instructions and do that, okay?